here in downtown Minneapolis, home of the Super Bowl, home of the Final Four, and now home to X Games Minneapolis 2019 as fans from around the world are piling in. I'm your host, Jack Matrani. Couldn't be more excited for Saturday night as we celebrate all that action sports embodies, from music to art, photography, culture, and of course, the competition. And later tonight, we head over to the iconic, historic armory for Diplo. That's how you celebrate a Saturday night. And it is now time to get to our competition. Later tonight, we've got Moto X Best Whip. We've got the real cost BMX Dirt. But first, it's BMX Street. Uncle Lee, Scotty Kramer, and Chris Doyle, take it away. That's right, Saturday night here at the X Games in a beautiful bird's eye view of the BMX street course. Welcome in, bienvenue, and welcome on in to the U.S. Bank Stadium, everybody. It is time to get it going. My name is Chris Uncle E. Ernst, alongside three-time gold medalist Scotty Kramer and multi-time medalist Chris Doyle down in the mean streets of Minneapolis here at the U.S. Bank Stadium. All right, so our storyline is going to go just like this. Garrett Reynolds, he has been the name of street for so many years. He's always the man to beat. No exception here tonight, Scotty. That is true, Garrett. Reynolds has made a name for himself as the most dominant com competitor in BMX Street. He's been doing it for so long, and he's doing it so well that I just don't see it stopping anytime soon, Uncle Lee. Look at here, Shanghai. He got right back on top of the podium and got himself another gold. And this guy, Chad Curley, the only dude to beat him twice. Not once, but twice. And one of them was last year. Can he do it again? Yes, he can. Chad is such a fierce competitor. He has so many big tricks, so many technical tricks, like that nose willy to bar spin. Chad knows how to put it together, but it all comes down to doing it in that moment. Put a good dent with his teeth in the gold medal last year. Chris Doyle's down below. There's our 12 pack right there. Who do you like there, brother? Man, based on what I'm seeing, I really like Lewis Mills. I really like Felix Prangenberg. Those guys are looking strong, they're looking hungry, and they're looking consistent. Number three, Alex Donachie from Scotland has earned a gold medal. We also have two Germans, an Australian, and eight, count them, eight members of the USA. We take a deep breath, take it all in, as a nice crowd is enjoying themselves here tonight in Minneapolis. A little tumultuous weather outside. Brought a lot of folks inside. Scott, you had a chance to check out some of the practice earlier on, and we'll get to that in a minute, but here goes Brock Rayford out of Louisiana for his first go. Brock Rayford is such a powerful rider. He actually is just getting off of being tied for winning a bunny hop competition with Sean Ricani, who's actually also in this competition. So a lot of the stuff that you'll be seeing him do, you'll see him be able to manhandle his bike. But when I say manhandle, I don't want you to think that he's going to do it without style. He's in full control at all times. Well, his first X Game event since 2017 Minnesota due to a knee injury. He's back getting fluid right now. And so far, so good. Nice mix of rail tricks and also, you know, tricks like tail whips. And look at that switch downside whip as well. And when I say switch, that means the tail whip is the opposite direction to his regular way. So that makes things a lot more difficult. Less comfortable direction. And that was after. Wow. You're going to hear these the noise. It's a, it's a subtle bell or a, 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 it's a bell for all intents and purposes that starts it and ends it. That's it for Brock Rayford. Riding a volume signature bike of his own and grinding on and tricking off. So look at Brock. He did the toothpick grind to feeble to 360. And like we talked about, that's the tail up, but that's his regular way. That's the way he originally learned it. The one he did on the hip was his opposite direction. Score in. First one puts him into first place. That is the bar setting mode. Our competition format rolls like this. 12 athletes, as we've talked about, two runs, 45 seconds each, high score, 100. And Scotty, what's it based on? It's based on overall impression. These judges want to see you use this course wisely. They want to see you pick your tricks, pick your best tricks, and place them all over this course scattered. Use the whole course. That's going to be your best score. Next up, out of a Area right near where you're from, Scotty Toms River, New Jersey. Took a silver in 2016 in Austin. Please welcome Sean Riccani. Yes, Sean Riccani grew up riding my parents' skate park, the Incline Club in New Jersey. It's amazing seeing him here at the Ooh. X Games, and he has so many big tricks, as you can see right now. 
Like I said, we, he grew up inside the skate park, but he transitioned into a street rider. But since he had so much control riding the skate park over the years, riding a course like this that has quarter pipes, that has banks, has gaps, this is up his alley. Again, 45 seconds on the clock. It seemed like an eternity if things don't go right for you. That fluidity, the flow, the variety of tricks, and you can tell with some time left on the clock, you want to see a little bit more there. I'm really confused on why he waved off his run when there's 10 seconds left. There was so much time to get yeah. something valuable. The judges want to see you end with a bang. Well, here's a crooked grind going up the rail, meaning that his left peg was on in the front, right peg on the back, and did a 360 off. And that 360 was his opposite direction. That was switch. But he can also get technical. Do bar spin to ice fix stall on the rail to 270 out on that quarter, or on that wedge. So he slides into second place. Second of 12 riders in the first run to go. Alex Donachy next up from Scotland in Sydney. Last year, walked away with a gold medal. He said he was kind of shocked. <laughs> he didn't. He's like, I won the gold. How'd that happen? <laughs> with a Scottish accent, which I don't call. And here he goes right now for his first run. Yeah, Alex is such a great rider. He's known throughout BMX to have so many technical variations. And you know what? Bringing it up, he did win an X Games gold medal. But he was known as more of a video guy. So for him to go out there and get the gold, that cements him as a real competitor. And look at that right there. Switch toothpick hangover, and it looked like he was going to a crank arm 180. Cricket grind 180 up the rail as well. So, so far, so good, Uncle Lee. Yeah, he's competed in Australia, Sydney, Shanghai. This is his first time in Minnesota, so he's getting his wheels underneath him for his first round of two. He's coming towards the end of his run right now, and like we were saying about Sean's run, where he did not have that bang, this is where it's really important. I don't know how that it kind of worked out the way it did right there, but it looked like he was about to fall off the side of it, and he actually went into a feeble grind and pulled it away, so. Yeah, taking it for 45 seconds. For all it's worth, that's what the judges are looking to see, an overall impression, but doing a variety of tricks. We'll keep, we'll keep hammering away, because you're going to get a feel when you see guys like Garrett Reynolds and uh, Curly throwing it down, nice and fluid, nice and smooth. That's how they stay so consistent. So check that out. That was a grind on his opposite side pegs. So that was a switch grind, and he went to a hard 180 over the rail. Very technical. Big smiles. He'll stay in the 73 and change. Second place for Donachy. Bruno Hoffman in as an alternate. Mr. Doyle, you're down below. What's happening? Well, thank you for giving me Bruno Hoffman to commentate, because you can't tell which is opposite, what's regular. Watch the way he lands his fakies. When he does fakie tricks, it's really, it's really impressive because he's so consistent with the fakie. Check that out down the rail. That was an opposite Smith grind down the rail. There's fakie number one in this one, showing you that 540 up and over the wedge. Bruno Hoffman has been so good for so long. I first met him in Germany when he was just 14 years old. Always been a really fun guy to watch. Always been a really fun guy to hang out with. And we saw him step off the bike, and I can't express enough that consistency is key here in BMX Street. These guys aren't riding a best trick competition. They're not filming video parts. Sometimes even slipping a pedal can be the difference between one, two, or even three places. But check that out. 180, crooked grind, 180 back out. Made that trick look easy, but we had a few bobbles from Bruno. Uncharacteristic for him. He'll be back again for some more runs. In his 10th appearance, and thanks to Dennis Emerson bowing out, Bruno made it in. We'll see what our judges are saying. Fourth place presently. And he knows he can do just a little bit better than that. Next competitor, oldest in our field at 32 years young, full of experience, three medals. His best in 2014 at Austin. This is Dakota Roche out of Huntington Beach, California. Won the Nora Cup Street Rider of the Year. That's the number one rider award. Dakota is going towards the rail right now. Look at that Nolly toothpick hangover. Such a technical trick. Nolly meaning he's going off the front wheel when he took off to the rail. Had a hard fall in practice. He took a bar to his chest. So. Little sternum smacker. 
And what's really cool about Dakota Roche, he's got such an original style and approach to this course. He just did such an awesome wall ride that was in that back corner that no other rider is thinking, of, thinking about. And thanks to Ryan, our researcher, we've been told that he's into filming, actually uses the camera. He's filmed and he loves doing the editing as well. A lot of these guys into that level of detail helps the riding immensely. So here's a replay of his gap to grind and you can see he had to take his foot off and the judges are going to score him down for that. They want to see you be able to keep your feet on the pedals the whole time. Yeah, landing backwards, being able to ride that thing out, showing control, composure, and riding throughout. Rayford still in the lead. Everybody's going to get two runs, 12 of them pre-qualified. Great day of competition all the way around here with more to come tonight. BMX Dirt coming up a little later this evening. And there you go, second place, 75.33. And we're looking now at uh, Lewis Mills. And we had a chance to talk with him about his podium in Australia. What's up? I'm Lewis Mills. I'm 20 years old from Sydney, Australia, and I compete in X Games Street. The Sydney local gets silver. I got the invite to X Games Sydney, which I was blown away with, and somehow walked away with second. It didn't look like I was too nervous, but I was so nervous. When it all happened and I was on the podium, it still hadn't hit me, and then I saw my mom crying in the stands. And I was just like, oh no, this is gonna make me cry. I just never felt anything like that before, and yeah, it was just incredible. I've never been to Minneapolis, but I'm sure it's gonna be crazy. I know the riding every year is getting just more technical and more technical, and everyone's just pushing themselves, so yeah, it's gonna be really interesting to see what everyone's doing. There's always like a little bit of pressure, I'm not gonna lie, like I'm not gonna say it's all fun, but at the end of the day, win or lose, I'm living my dream, really. Yeah, Jared, that was such a yeah, to, to walk away with a medal of any color as a rookie, especially in your home country, that's just a, it's got to be a good feeling. He explained it real well there. Here goes a 21-year-old Australian, Lewis Mills. Lewis came on the scene rather short time ago, but he's got so many big tricks and he's so consistent. And we talk about it a lot. These guys film the ma majority of their time video parts. And he's dropped some crazy video parts. Like his uh, claw part recently blew people's minds. And doing tricks like that, 540 cap truck, that was amazing. Oh, tough break right there. Yeah, good that one going. Cap tail whip. Man, things were going so well for him, but he's definitely feeling it. Yeah. Zero expectations coming to the States here. First time in Minnesota for these X Games in Minneapolis. It's and we'll get to his score in just a minute. But first, X Games in Minneapolis continues tomorrow, 1 o'clock Eastern, noon Central on ABC and ESPN app. It's the last day of competition for the world's best action sports athletes, highlighted by the finals of men's skateboard street best trick, Wendy's men's skateboard park, women's skateboard street, and Dave Mira's BMX park best trick. Promises to be great stuff. And we have a whole bunch of heavy hitting coming up next, including last year's champion, Mr. Curly and Garrett Reynolds.
Justin Spreet. Next up, our only rookie in our field of 12. A true lifer. Age two, he started out. Age four, started racing. 10, was in the skate parks and trails. And he's pretty much done just about everything. Loves being on the bike, Scotty. He has such amazing bike control, Justin. And you know what, we talked about that racing in the beginning. And what racing brings is such a discipline on your bike. So these guys aren't scared to go fast when you have a racing background. You are challenging yourself constantly, going as fast as you can at things, so you're never nervous about it. Check that out, though. You don't do that in racing right there. That was, that was amazing over tooth grind. Well, his father, Todd, BMXer, brought him to the park at a young age, got him his first bike, and unfortunately, just gets off before the end of the buzzer. Todd Spreet, first run of two, out of Marietta, California. He's got one more, there's the end of that run. So here's a replay we got right now. You can see he hit his backpack on purpose on that part of the ledge. That's called you know, a wally like what skateboarders would do, but the guys are doing it with their peg, and he threw a bar spin after it. Spreet, 65.33. Right now, our top three are highlighted. Donaghy, Roche, and Rayford. A lot of great riding yet to come, including gold medalist from last year, Mr. Curley, and of course, none other than the legend, Garrett Reynolds. X Games Minneapolis is brought to you by Pacifico Beer. Live life anchors up. Discover responsibly. And SoFi, get your money right. Welcome back in the U.S. Bank Stadium. X Games Minneapolis 2019 continues on. And it's time for our next competitor, Matt Ray out of Lowell, Massachusetts. He said he was overwhelmed watching Garrett and everyone else ride in his debut in 2016. He took 10th place, and right now he's going for his second time ever in X Games, but he is a, a determined one, he said, Scotty. You know what's so amazing about Matt Ray? He is such a technical rider when it comes to street, but he can ride park horses so well. I'm telling you, if he got into the park events and he took that series, he could be in the medals on that one. Look at that one. Nice. Double truck to Fakie. Again, 45 seconds, and look at the control, the composure, holding that all the way through, then up and down, off switch. Oh. You see, I'm telling you, he's got that transition control as well, doing that flare right off of that fly. You're, you're coming off a 180 out of a feeble. That was pretty insane. Oh, and the feet coming off the tail end. That was just about the only flaw that I witnessed in that 45 seconds there. No, that was absolutely perfect. Everything was going so well. And you know, that's got to feel great to be that close to perfection. You know, he hasn't been in X Games since 2016. This was such a big run. But this is that manual line right here as he's coming around. You can see he goes to the feeble grind, which is a back peg on, front wheel up. And now here's it. When he turned out, took one crank right into the flare. Yeah, and he was able just to get some ample to where it looks like there wasn't going to be any. Here's my favorite trick, though. This is a double truck driver, two fakey, through two bar spins with that 360, and he lands so solid. He's so controlled. Matt Ray out of Massachusetts, and only his second X Games appearance, looking to get in the lead. He does just that. First dude of the 80s. How's that for Matt Money Ray? Woo! 
Chris Doyle, talk to us down there. What do you think of that one? Well, that was a solid, solid run. But one thing I want to mention is with Matt Ray, he did a lot of things on the transitions. But this is a street contest. The judges really want to see these riders hitting the ledges, the wedges, and the rails. And we got Felix Prangenberg just jumping on in. Huge 360. He's also doing a lot of transition stuff. Look at that. A truck driver to fakey, reverts it out. Oh man, more than a mouthful right here. Felix Prangbert is on a mission lately, straight out of Germany. One of the more consistent guys on the course. I watched him in practice. He was looking really, really strong, really, really focused. Hey, he's all of 21 years of age, our youngest in the field. Silver medal in Shanghai. Utilizing all the course. Perfect example of how technical and how great he is on a bike. Spinning that 450 off of that ledge. And he's picking off right where he left off from in Shanghai. He's just nothing but perfection when he touches his course, I believe. Yeah, brought VC Mo. He's also sponsored by Heimwerts Tattoo. He has a hawk on his neck, a bear on his chest, and pedal forward on his forearm. So he's all about the ink. Look at these replays. He's doing a 450 bar spin to Fakey. So controlled. If we use the term Fakey, that's the guy riding backwards. Here's a flare that he did also on the quarter, similar to Matt Ray's run. So if the judges rewarded Matt Ray's run with that kind of style, he could be looking at another high score. Yeah, fluid as can be, using the whole course, and slides in to 83.66, so just a few points off the mark, but comfortable place to be. Silver positions where he was in Shanghai, he's there right now. All right, looking at, uh, we go from Germany now to Georgia. Devin Smiley. And we're ready to see his first run of two. Two-time X Games medalist, a silver in Minnesota a couple years ago, a bronze last year, see if he can find the gold this year somehow. Devin Smiley is such an amazing rider at balance tricks. A lot of the things you'll see are things like that. Feeble grind to backwards manual across a ledge. That's something that should not be done in a competition run. Ooh, yes. A crank on grind across a 32 foot long rail Clean. in the middle of your run. This guy has such an unbelievable ability of doing these crazy tricks just on command. That was pretty cool as well. He used his back peg, did a wally up, and did a bar spin drop in. Well, very consistent with a couple of podiums and five top five, fi top five, top five finishes in his five X Games. Fluid. That was a go. pretty solid run for run number one. It's amazing. Like I can't stress it enough. This guy's style and his ability to ride that bike. It's so unique to see in competition. It still blows my mind that he's able to pull these things off consistently. Good camaraderie with all the brothers there. There it is, the grind all the way down this down king. So that's the crank arm grind right there. He's bouncing on his pedal and his crank arm for 32 feet, but this is huge. 180, fakie on that skinny ledge to 180 bar spin off. That's so nuts. If something fell off his bike right there, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but hopefully he doesn't need it too bad for run number two. <laughs> right. <laughs> he went there and picked it on up. We got a little Tom Brady. He looks a little bit like Tom Brady, doesn't he? Are we talking about Devin Smiley here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe when he wears the football helmet. <laughs> Just a little bit. So the score to beat to slide into first place, 86-3-3. You see the map to the left, the heat map, counting the tricks there. Crowd fired up here. Coming up, Gary Reynolds, 11-time gold medalist. Chad Curley, two-time gold medalist. And judges right now doing their due diligence. All right, 12 riders, two runs each, 45 seconds per run. And there is Garrett Reynolds. He's uh, he's getting fired at the most dominant force in all things street since the beginning. And there's the score, third place for Smiley. As he smiles on comfortable position for the time being. Two more riders remain here. Garrett Reynolds going for fifth all time on the medal count. This would be his 11th gold medal if by chance he takes it in the discipline. And you're going to witness a little bit of fluidity and greatness right now. The greatest of all time. I will go out and say it at competition street riding. Perfect example, 180 tail up to flat. That was unreal. Let's 
Set it up, Scotty. There's a variation. Went, oh, look at that. Nose really over on that rail. Imagine putting that skinny front tire on that rail. Switch truck driver, meaning that was completely opposite, spin wise and bar spin. Oh. He just doesn't stop, Uncle Lee. He really doesn't. But we're at the end of the run, and this is where he usually shines. I'm loving the variety, the technical difficulty, and using the whole course. You're looking at a guy who's earned 11 gold medals here at the X Games, 10 of them in this discipline, Garrett Reynolds. So Doyle, does that warrant, per, per chance, a first place run? Well, I, I'm gonna, I said it before, I'll say it again. I'm glad I'm not a judge here, but that was pinpoint precision riding out of Garrett Reynolds. Just check out these highlights. Opposite feeble just to a tail whip, just keeping it clean. And here's the opposite tail whip on the wedge. Sometimes it just looks like it's so hard for Garrett to even mess up. I can't wait to see what the score is. Yeah, competition savvy, ridiculous. And new leader, 89-6-6, Garrett Reynolds. No massive surprise there, Scotty. <laughs> None at all. No. We're used to this. Yeah, and Curly takes a look on here. But before we get going with him, let's have a peek at our FDA Real Cost Keys to Success with Real Mr. Chad Curley. My name's Chad Curley, and I ride in X Game Street. Chad Curley making it happen today. This is bang, bang, bang. That was an absolutely huge run. 92.33, Chad Curley takes over the top spot. Coming back into X Games this year, I'm trying to kind of like not feel like I'm the defending champion, because that just puts so much pressure on myself. Having a structural run, and if you miss one thing, it's on your head that you missed that one thing. And that's what I'm kind of trying to do is trust my instinct more. Everything I come across, if that's not that trick I had in mind and I feel something else to do what I feel in the moment. If I can put one good run down where I have more planned and structure around that run and it goes well, then I'll be an opportunity to like let loose again and just have fun on another run. And I'm kind of just going into it. Just have fun and just see what happens. <laughs> So, Scott, Scotty, okay, I'm going to ask you so this, because you've been in this position. Although you don't want to have expectations, it's really tough when you're on top not to, right? It really is. I've been in this position before, and you know, you could say that it, it, you're trying not to let it get to you, but it's always going to you. But using that, you know, to motivate yourself and to be able to step up, that's what's key. And so far, so good. Look at that manual line all the way around the park, holding out on the back wheel and doing that bar spin. Let's enjoy some riding. 25 years young, out of San Diego. Nice. Another killer combo, and that's what Chad is known for. Switch tail whip, and this is the latter part of the run. And this is where it separates the podium from the rest of the crew. Two-time gold medalist, the only guy to beat Garrett Reynolds. And he just put down exactly what he needed to do to contest up against Reynolds one more time. We'll take a, another look at some of that, break it down for you. So right here is the 180 tail whip. You can see he's landing fakey. That was a almost close you know, situation where he had to put a foot down. But here's the 540 off of the deck to flat. And he's once again landing fakey. And it's really, really crucial for these riders to mix it up and land fakie in the run because that shows the judges your skill level. Well, he bruised his heel last week in vans at the Rebel Jam in Huntington Beach, so he's he's riding a little bit of pain, but pushing through it. His score coming in, 85 into third place. Ray's the second, and the golden god, the legend Reynolds, has the lead, and that's after round number one with 12 more to go. You're seeing how it breaks down here with Incubus playing in the background. We'll be back with the final runs of the BMX Street here at X Games 2019 Minneapolis.
Brock Grayford is on tap for his second run. Again, 12 guys here at BMX Street starting with Brock Grayford for his second run. Presently, he's in sixth place. So Brock Rayford picking up where he left off in run number one. He's known for such an aggressive, high-flying, just power style. Look at that double peg grind. So hard hop over 360. That is such a trick that you need so much power for it. It's hard to even fathom that that's doable in a contest run. Well, his full family is in attendance. Wants to be a tattoo artist. He's in the hardcore music scene. And by the way, he's the largest, most sizable guy here at 6'1", 200 pounds. That's a, that's a lot of mass to be moving around. Yeah, I wouldn't cut him off in practice if I was any of the other guys. <laughs> Bronze in 2016. Let's take a look back. Yeah, this is my favorite trick of the run. The double peg grind to hard hop over 360. That's insane. That is such a power move to be able to do in your contest run. Looking to improve upon a sixth place. Curly Ray and Reynolds are top three right now. Again, BMX Dirt coming up a little later on this evening inside. Skateboard, BMX, freestyle motocross, and an 82 puts him up one spot to fifth place, Brock Rayford. We are at X Games Minneapolis and we are checking out the BMX Unified Special Olympics event and it looks amazing. First year, it's a pilot run and it's gonna rock. I'm in. Let's go. We're all out here just having fun, doing our best, and I think as long as everyone leaves with a smile on their face, we've all had a good day. It went amazing. I mean, my partner Chris just led the way, and I just tried my best to keep up with him. He's fast. I had fun. She had fun. You know, we killed it. Didn't we? we went so fast. Yeah. I did good. Yeah. Yes. What a treat, how cool is that? Bunch of pros out there just having some fun, simply put, right? So amazing, I actually got to meet Chris, Jack Mitriani's partner, and he was so excited about that event, and he's hoping it happens again next year. Yeah, keeping busy out there for sure. Hi, Uncle Lee alongside Scotty Kramer, Chris Doyle down in the mix. So far here on BMX Street, things are unfolding exactly as we had planned. Mr. Curley with two golds, and as well, how about uh, our stud Reynolds on the top of the, top of the charts once again? Yeah, no surprise there at all, but what what really shocked me was seeing Matt Ray step up, and he is currently in podium position right now. So he's got to keep it together in round number two. These guys are going to come out swinging. They know this is the last chance. Yeah, Ray in the mix with an 86.33. 11 competitors remain here. We'll get going with Sean Riccani. In just a minute here, earned a silver in 2016. Hales out of Toms River, New Jersey. Doing local contests when he was 10. Owner of a clothing company called Further, and he's on course now at 45 seconds. So Sean's run was really good the first time around, but we talked about it. He missed, you know, he's, he, he 
waved off that last 10 seconds, and I'm really not sure why. I don't know if maybe, you know, if there was something that was bothering him about it, but if he can get back on track, you know, hopefully he can uh, get enough points to get close to that podium. Yeah, so, again, Chris Doyle's down there. What goes on, what goes through the mind, Chris, when you're out of the gates, you just kind of fumble? Well, you miss a beat, you lose the rhythm. You know, it's it's hard to recover and, and start to do more tricks after that, after you've stepped off the bike a couple of times. And for Sean Rakani, that's exactly what happened. He was he was having a hard time getting that flow going, and he just wasn't feeling it. Just wasn't his day today. Yeah, copy that. Reynolds Ray Curley. No change in the score there. And we'll set our sights on another gold medalist. And Alex Don Donachy talks about his gold in Sydney, a moment in time that uh, he'll cherish forever. Check it out. Hi, I'm Alex Donachy. I'm from Glasgow, Scotland, and I'm competing in X Games BMX Street. Alex Dunnicky, the first Scottish athlete to ever earn a medal, and it's gold. Winning gold in Sydney for me was easy. <laughs> <laughs> I had never expected to win it at all. I never even really considered it. I tried to approach it just by doing, trying to do a few things that were a little bit different to what the other people were doing. Coming into Minneapolis this year, I'm going to be hitting the gym hard. I'm training every day. <laughs> I'm just going to try and do the same as usual, just try and do my best. Hopefully it works out. Um, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, so we'll see. Speaking in tongues is the sculpture right there. Can't tell if he's serious or not about his training, but we know for sure. He got a gold in Sydney last year. His first time here in Minnesota. The clock starts for his second run right now. Oh, oh that's a tough break on your first Shucks. hit. And that's such a technical trick he did right there. Opposite side pegs, opposite pull over 180. That's very, very tough. And like Chris just said the last time around, he said, you know, you miss a beat, you lose the rhythm. And so far, you know, we saw him land those two first tricks in his run the last time around. But once you lose it, it's so hard to keep there. Because BMX is such a mental game as much as it is a physical game. And he's getting down to the nitty gritty. Probably do no better than eighth place right there, but for the Scott, with the gold last year in Sydney, he is happy just to be here in the States in the building with all these legends. And that's that. Well, it's easy to win that gold in Sydney, not as easy here in Minneapolis for him. Well, if you're just joining us here, we are just getting into the second run here, and we'll take a quick look back at Donachy as we gear up for Bruno Hoffman in alternate. Look at that, though. That's an awesome move. 180 to backwards crooked grind, 180, though. So at least he got to put a show on for all the BMX fans out here in the Minneapolis crowd. And we'll now set our sights on the German, 26 years young, an alternate, a silver in Barcelona in 2013. See if he can't put one together. Bruno bringing some speed, a nice 360 gap over that rail. Landing completely flat. He's got such a great variety of fakey tricks, spin tricks, a lot of grind combinations, manuals, but he can mix it up with the best of them. And again, thanks to Dennis Anderson, who's doing a lot of work out here on multiple courses. Dennis decided to bow out and gave up the spot to Bruno Hoffman. Oh, beautiful toothpick grind on the way down. Last trick time. Nose 180 to Fagy. Nice solid pull for Bruno Hoffman, Ampoli. Yeah, it's, it should improve him over uh, the 11th place position there. Not sure it's going to slide him on the podium, but we'll take a peek back at some of his artwork. So here's that big 360 gapping over that rail, barely missing it, which is pretty nuts. It's a pretty tall rail for a, for a solid hop, so that was really cool.
So seventh place, up a notch, not enough for a podium, a good effort, smiling and stoked. And hey, this week, Sunday Night Baseball crew is at Yankee Stadium for the series finale between the Sox and American League East leading Yankees, who are trying to chase down them Bronx Bombers. Our coverage begins at 6 o'clock Eastern on ESPN and the ESPN app with Baseball Tonight, Sunday Night Countdown. Okay, we continue on, Dakota Roche. Three medals to his credit, our oldest competitor in the field. Hard, hard fall in practice. Took a bar to the chest. Let's see if he can keep it together. Man, he's coming out swinging, Uncle Lee. He landed that gap to grind that he messed up on in run number one. Nolly to toothpick hangover grind as well. Things are looking fantastic for Dakota Roche right now. What's so cool about Dakota, he's got such a great selection of how he approaches a course. Like, look at this wall ride in the corner. Nobody's looking at that. Nobody but Dakota Roche. Yeah, good aggression right here. So on the latter part of the run, let's see what Dakota decides to finish with. Nice 180. Oh, oh slid out right on the logo. Things were going so well for him. Yeah, so important to ride that out to have a complete effort all the way through wire to wire for Dakota Roche. That would be better than eighth place. But here's that gap to grind. The one that he messed up on in run number one. Look at all that momentum, all that distance he has to carry and land on those pegs, which are only about five inches long. So that's pretty insane when you factor that in. But Dakota Roche did it no problem this time. BMX Street continuing on. We have our top three, Curly, Ray, and Reynolds still to come. Will the order switch up? With Roche's run, no, 80.33, seventh place. Well, this young man, he, he uh, has a brother that plays for the Sydney Swans Aussie Football League, and his name is Lewis Mills, 21 years of age, second youngest in the field, and looking to improve on his 12th place positioning right now. Another random fact about Lewis Mills, he's actually an amazing painter. Very, very awesome artist. Amazing BMX rider as well. We talked about that. So this guy's multi-talented. Look at that 540 truck half cap. That was that was really cool. Yeah, his artwork, uh, he's got some Cobain, some Hendrix, and some B.I.G. he's been working on. And that'll wrap things up with a few seconds left. That is it for that run for Lewis Mills, the Aussie. And he's riding for the legend, Garrett Reynolds. Here's Lewis Mills. This is the bar spin to Smith grind from peg down. Hops up into that nose wheelie. Lewis with the opposite pegged, so that's on his switch side, not his regular one, so it's very difficult to do. And like, trying to learn something like that is completely unorthodox. It's a fully different feeling than you learn your regular side. It'd be like throwing a ball with your opposite hand. The opposite way, yeah. Well, we've got Matt Ray, who is in second place, and then Garrett Reynolds, of course, who is leading the charge. Let's take a peek at him, a little highlights of what we're gonna see coming up. There's Ray. And then Reynolds looking for another gold out here. That's all going to happen when we come back. Stick around here in Minneapolis.
Oh, love me some Minneapolis. There's the armory down low where we had some fantastic vert skate and awesome concerts, great music. The mighty mist rolls through here, been running across the bridges, fabulously friendly and clean city and its host for year three of X Games Minneapolis. Look at that, there's Jack. Check it out after the show, a little extra, youtube.com slash X Games. Thanks, Jack. All right, so here's the deal. This is BMX Street. 24 runs to start, 18 of them are done. That means we got six to go. Mathematician, Garrett Reynolds is in the lead. Ray, second, Curly, and third. That's gold, silver, bronze, but right now, it is Justin Spreet at Maria, California, the rookie on his second and final run. Very original rider. I'm so glad he's getting his chance to showcase his riding to the world on the biggest competition stage in BMX. There's that tooth pick again, such a technical move, reaching over, putting the right peg while leaving his body on the other side. Very, very complicated. Well, he said he loves riding trails. That's actually his passion, but right now, he's at the games. He's figuring out how this street course works. He's in 11th place, five seconds left. Here comes the buzzer. Oh, look at that. What a trick to end on that. Smith to nose to bar spin, very technical. Yeah, complete run. There's the crew out there. In the crowd, Alex Ferreira, Super Pipe Gold Medalist, taking it in. Check this out. He's on the other side of the rail and puts his front wheel on the other end. So that's so technical, but this one was huge. Nice 180 to backwards crooked grind on the rail. There's a big gap to it as well. So there's a lot that you lay on the line when you try a trick like that. Yeah, the old risk reward. Chris Doyle's down below. What's happening down there from your vantage, my man? Well, I had a very clear shot of that gap to 180 to crooked grind. He pulled it so perfectly. Justin Spreet's one of those guys where it never really looks like he's trying that hard. He always looks stoic. He always makes things look really controlled and very easy. And that was a great, great run from Justin Spreet. This is his first X Games, and he said he was very, very nervous. Hey, good enough for fifth place. Welcome to the X Games, Justin. Awesome for the rookie. That's a comfortable feeling. So Matt Ray coming up next. He's in the second place spot with an 86.33. Only a second appearance. He has no previous medals. And he's in a great spot right now, Scotty. You know what's even great about that first run that he did? Huh. There's room to improve. He had a little slip up at the end. And look where he is right now. So this could be huge for Matt Ray. All right, start things off. Massachusetts boy going to fire off with some variety. And he's already up the ante. That was a full truck off of it Ooh. instead of just a half cap bar he did. Watch the nuances. Nice 540 fakey tail whip combination. Man, he is just flying right now. That was one of my favorite tricks from run number one. I'm glad you brought that back. Ooh. This variety is just fantastic. Look at this. Control. The composure. Coming to the ledge. Feeble. 2180 to Fakie. Oh, Matt had to step off right there. Everything was going so well. Oh, he wanted to finish with that bang inches away. Man, he was at the end of the run, and that is so hard to do when your body is getting so fatigued. Just look how many times he's jumping up and down and controlling the bike, but this trick was huge. Look at that full cab truck to fakie. Straight out of a double peg, hard 180 as well. Yeah, hey. If you're and hey, guys, I'm down here, and I was standing next to Garrett Reynolds, and you could see the look on Garrett's face. Even Garrett had his jaw on the ground. He was so surprised, and he was so shocked when Matt missed that last trick. All right, so Ray 
Chances are that's not going to increase his score. It does not, so he'll stay no better than Silver right now. There's only two guys remaining that have a chance to unsettle the top three. This is one of them, a Silver in Shanghai earlier this year. Felix Prangenberg, and he's on course for his final run. Aggression underway. Uh, starting things off huge with that upper rail to hard a truck driver. Look at that Nolly half cab on that gap as well. There's so much technicalities to BMX Street. It is the most technical discipline that we have here at the X Games. Man, 360 to Smith to 180 off. That was a switch Smith as well. So when the momentum is rolling like it is for Felix, this is where it comes down to when you know that your next moves, this is going to be crucial to decide if you're getting on the podium or not. Yeah, he's in fourth place. Whips oh, it around and oh, has no. to step off. Oh. The last oh, man. Just like Ray, the last, the last effort just can't hold on. And that is the difference between fourth and third. Oh, it totally is. But listen, look at this trick. This is how he started things off. And this is how I knew he was serious. Pegs up to hard truck driver. There's a nice little tail up transfer in heading on towards his last trick. And he has so much speed, which was crazy to see. So he went this gap to grind, did the 180 out, landed fakey, everything was great, but the front wheel just washed out a little bit. Look at the you know, expression on his face. He knew it right there. Yeah, well, Jurgen, his father, has to be proud. Taught his son to ride at the age of two. His first event was when he was seven. Won a Red Bull event in 2013 when he was 15. And great to have him here in a silver course in Shanghai, as we mentioned, for our youngest competitor. Big things from him coming in the future, for sure. And we are gearing up the for the score while we wait for that. Sports Center Saturday, that's tonight, after the Pro Football Hall of Fame coming up in a bit. But we had a chance also as we're waiting for the score to come in. You know, we had a chance waiting for Devin Smiley about how he prepares for competition. Let's check it out. I'm Devin Smiley, 26 years old, currently living in San Clemente, California, and I ride BMX Street. I originally started riding when I was about three years old. My parents both grew up racing motocross and they kind of raised me watching old motocross videos. I tried to reenact anything I saw on a little BMX bike. That was just my whole life growing up. I don't really know anything else. I've never played a team sport, anything like that. It's just these wheels. <laughs> For a contest like X Games, there's so many things that go into it, preparing mentally and physically. For me, I like doing like the technical kind of stuff that you won't see most of the other competitors doing. In my head, if I can put down the exact run that I want, I'm, I don't care where I end up. Like I just want to land everything. I want it all to feel good. I want that consistency, the creativity. I want to show people tricks that they might have never seen, but it's more about just knowing that I did my best. And whatever comes from that comes, you know. And all that shot on an iPhone. When we come back, Devin Smiley from Georgia is going to see if he can't man up and unsettle the mix of the top three. Stick around for the final here at BMX Street.
What's up? We're swimmers. We're out here at the X Games. We're here to shred hate and choose kindness. You heard? When we first heard about Shred Hate, we knew it really stood with the essence and the spirit of our band. We grew up surfing and skating, and it's all about space, you know? Like, bullying is about taking up space and deciding who can be in your space and who can't. Music's about creating a new space where everyone's invited. We want to be the band that was the skater that included everybody at the skate park. We use our platform to do this because we have the platform. And I think it's a responsibility a lot of people who have big platforms and a large reach uh, don't do. And I think that it's something that literally everybody needs to be doing, making people aware that there's issues with bullying and there needs to be a lot more inclusivity in our world. We gotta shred hate, you know, it's, it's as simple as that. Shred hate! Well, simply put, just be nice, be kind, you know, just simply put. Great program, and welcome back in to the U.S. Bank Stadium. X Games Minneapolis 2019 is BMX Street Finals time. Three more remain, and the crowd's fired up. And there's only one guy that can upset the podium as it stands right now, and it's Devin Smiley out of Sewanee, Georgia. What's it going to take, Scotty? It's going to take a lot of what he does but at such a high level and the tricks that he does do demand so much control so it's hard to put in the 45 seconds but he's fully capable of doing it we've seen him do it before look at that feeble to fakey manual across that ledge and he said it in his piece what he does is a lot different than everybody else these are the best bmx street riders in the world Three runs remain. This is the only guy who can change that leaderboard of Reynolds Ray and Curly. Look at that control. That was a huge line right there. So much respect from all the riders on the deck to Devin for that one. So close, almost sealing the deal of a near perfect run. He was just throwing it all in the line right there. Knowing he had to do just that, he's up, he's okay, and he's smiling. That's the important thing. Man, his riding was looking so great. Look at that suicide no-hander, throwing the hand straight back off of the bike. And here's that manual line. He came from a bar spin into this manual, and he did a hop over. You can see he clears the rail, lands on his pegs, and does a hard 180 out, meaning he's spinning away from the rail. That, it's actually more difficult to do than spinning the same, spinning into the rail. Got his modified cornrows going on, smiling. Smiley from Jersey, excuse me, from Georgia. And that will not mix it up. So Curly's in that third position. Ray is <laughs> we got a couple more athletes coming up, and we have a chance. We had a chance to talk with Gary Reynolds about his podium finishes at the X Games. My name is Garrett Reynolds, and I ride BMX Street at X Games. Garrett Reynolds is one of a kind. I mean, everybody on that deck, they all see him as the guy for a reason. He's earned it. his feet that might be the difference getting second last year in minneapolis was awesome the level of riding with all the new riders and everyone out there is to get second like i don't feel like i've been dethroned or i don't feel like i've rode like absolutely horrible it's like for me getting second i'm happy with that i'm happy to be invited still don't really feel the pressure with contests because it's just BMX and it's fun to me and like any situation I'm in, even contest where there's a lot of people watching you, like, I don't know, it doesn't feel stressful because I'm so comfortable on my bike and this is where I want to be and this is what I like to do. Well, we just discovered a lot more thanks to Pacifico about Garrett Reynolds. Now, here's how this lays out. Two riders left, it's Garrett Reynolds' turn first and then Chad Curley. Defending gold medal is going. So for all intents and purposes, Reynolds has a medal, but he's going to put everything to the test right here and try to up that 89.66 to create some breathing room. And so far, so good. He just dropped two huge tricks off of the boot. That was an up rail to 
180 downside tailwind. I know we just had a quick little slip up on that tail up right there, but to be honest with you, that was a bunny hop tail up. That wasn't a huge trick. That was like a filler trick in his run. So he still has potential to up the ante. If this run, if this standing stay the same, Garrett will be tied for fifth with all-time medals at the X Games here in the summertime. Nice fakey ice pick run on that ledge. Technical move. He might be able to get one more right here if the judges let him. 360 to 180. Keeping it going with the fakey and throwing the bar spin. So Garrett on the Golden Boy. Medaled every time in every event since the inception of BMX Street. Look at this 180 tail whip, landing that in the middle of your run. So complicated. Yeah, celebrated 29th birthday yesterday as well. Going for his 12th gold, and the judges give him an 89. It does not increase. He stays in first, and that puts it down to this guy. Coming up next, Chad Curley, the 25-year-old San Diegan. Defending gold medalist here, won a gold way back in 2013. He's going to need a run of a lifetime right now to creep above Reynolds' 89.66. 45 seconds on the clock, and he's underway. Final rider, BMX Street. Check this out. This is like the same situation as last year, but rolls reverse right now. It's Chad's chance to defend, and no, he misses his hand on the bar spin. Uh. That was a tough break right there. Things were going so well for Chad. A sigh of relief by Garrett Reynolds. This is the trick that he was going for before he missed his hand. Let's see if he can pull this one off, at least for the crowd here in Minneapolis. Yeah, he's just having a good old time right now, knowing that it's a game of inches and all the details matter. Curly will stay in third unofficially, and that looks as if Garrett Reynolds is enjoying himself yet another gold medal, making it an even dozen. How's that? There it is, Curly getting some love. The, the hands of gold change. Not to be for Curly, but Curly earns a bronze. Matt Ray in his second X Games earns a silver. And Gary Reynolds, there it is, around his neck. Another one, Chris Doyle, get on in there. Fight your way in there. There he Guys, is. I am here with now 12-time X Games gold medalist here in BMX Street, Mr. Garrett Reynolds, pinpoint precision riding. As always, tell me what's on your mind. Uh, I'm a little tired right now, a little bit excited. Uh, I just, I, there were so many people that came close to that perfect run, man. That was a really good comp. That was, in fact, a great contest. A lot of guys messed up on their last tricks, and I saw your concern on your face. You were really rooting for everybody. There was a lot of camaraderie. And it, it, is it really like a brotherhood out here at BMX Street? These are all people I look up to. They're riders I respect. I love them all, and I want to see everyone do well for themselves. Well, congratulations. You're back on top of the podium. Thank you. Well done, Doyle. Awesome work. Garrett with that gold. He's the second, takes second in the single discipline behind the legend. Uh, and we has fifth most all time behind the uh, the legend of Jamie Bestwick, I was saying. A great competition out here at BMX Street. And Mr. Kramer, thank you very much. Mr. Doyle, great work. My name is Uncle Lee, and that's going to wrap things up here from the BMX Street competition. X Games Minneapolis is brought to you by Wendy's, the official bacon sponsor of X Games Minneapolis. And Nextcare First Aid Products, 